this is a tutorial of how to set up NHL online table file. You right click on the file and press extra here. After that go to setup and input one of these five codes. Now check the box and press next, again, find the folder where you want to save NHL, then press next and install. After installation is complete, I check the box and press finish. Then again skip the, re the registration next. Then go open the folder where you install the NHL. Copy these two files from the folder to the folder where you install the game. Now copy the gameplay center to your NHL folder. It doesn't have to be the NHL folder. Now you need to set, set up the game for yourself. Link the path to your graphics and file. And also you can change where the files will be saved afterwards. I usually keep them on this. These are the minimal requirements to play in all my games. However, if you have a Windows 7 moment, you can add the roster patch and keyboard patch. The keyboard patch fixes some glitches with the keyboard. And the roster patch lets you change the lineups. For me, my antivirus doesn't let me copy roster patch, so if you have AVG antivirus, you can do the same as I do. Go to options and click advanced options and Temporary disable antivirus. I disabled it for 15 minutes. Complete my enough time. Copy it and run. Then copy the rest files. I don't think they need to copy them because the both patches they believe they have the same files except the main patch. Then go to your gameplay center, press start the game. Here you can select your team and if you are joining somebody else you can copy the ID so you don't have to do it in here. If you did copy the roster patch then you can go to your select, select your team and you can change your lineups. I already done that so now go to options, settings, display settings. I prefer these display settings when you have classic camera all the, always up and the maximum resolution. Then go to play the online. You need to write the chat name, it doesn't matter what you write there. If you are the guy who's hosting, you just need to press enter and wait for the other guy to connect. But if you are joining the game, then if you copy it, IP the gameplay center you see the center. If you didn't do that, you have to manually rewrite this IP to the center. When you are connecting for the first time to Windows Firewall, usually asks if you want to let an 
take the green to the size of the set. Then go select your team, which we have done it already in the gameplay center. Find it. Put skill level difficult. I recommend it. switch line change or something. If the game is started, there should be no problems, and you can start to play on. And this is the end of this tutorial.